Hey guys, how is everybody? I hope you're all well. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the other segments of this video series. Well, today in this video, we're going to get into the intake port. Uh, we're going to change their intake timing, do a little bit of work to the port, not a lot. Um, I'll kind of explain why. Back when I first started this, um, I was bad about I'd want to hog the intake port out. Some of them I'd even cut through and ruin the cylinder um i didn't do that very long at all just realized it was unnecessary um i found that it kind of kills your throttle response what you're doing is killing port velocity uh in most cases i don't do a lot to intake port at all um you know the engineers that design these things um they do a lot of research and development um the intake port's just one part of the puzzle that um, I generally just kind of stick to what's there and just alter it very little at all. Um, you know, there's builders probably disagree with that. Um, all of that's fine and they okay. Um, everybody has their own way they want to do things, but uh, generally I really don't do a lot with the intake port. Um, we will lower the floor on this one least a little bit. Uh, maybe you can see in there, there's the least little bit of plating overhang. It's probably 10, 15 thousandths at the most. Um, we will blend that down. Um, then I'm gonna take the piston and I'm gonna cut a half moon notch in the bottom of it to hit our desired intake timing. Um, what I'll probably do is set the cylinder back on and set my finder at, I'm kind of shooting for an opening of around 78 degrees. If we hit 77 or 79, it'd be a-okay. It's not going to make or break the deal, but I'm wanting to get it as close to that 78 as I possibly can. Um, that's kind of our goal here with it, this today, guys. I'll try to video what I can of the grinding and the texture work and, uh, give you a look at what I've done with the piston and you know that's gonna kind of be it in this video um, I'll bring you guys back then what I'm gonna do right now is just go in and kind of just start trying to rough things in and pull that lip down and again on the intake and the transfer it's kind of hard to see anything Okay guys, so I've got that in there. I hope you can see it. I made a mark with Sharpie where I wanted my desired intake time on the B and we took the double cut cutter and rough cut that in and to get it nice and uniform, surely everybody has one of these files like this. If you don't have one, you can 
pick them up pretty cheap in any tool store um now what i'm gonna do is uh get the piston mounted on hopefully permanently this time and uh we'll see where our intake timing's at and probably wrap this part of the video series up guys okay guys so i've checked intake timing i'm gonna call it close enough we're 77 degrees uh one degree is not gonna make or break the deal it's nothing you would ever feel or even be able to tell running the saw um, unless you went too far then maybe you would but uh anyway um i decided to just stick with the finish of the cartridge roll you know it's nice it's like a cow's tongue or a cat's tongue that's kind of what i shoot after um you know like i said others may do things differently but um i always show the saws running afterwards um uh, I plan to take this saw out and cut some firewood with it so you know hopefully we get our test cuts video in here at the house and uh you know take it out and cut a pickup load of wood with it and uh then you know get it on its way back home but um that's gonna kind of be it here um if i didn't go over it you know the whole reason for increasing the intake time on this it's like taking a bigger gulp of air in um, that's the best way i can describe it we're sucking you know filling up the crankcase a little more to get a little more charge up through our transfers and into the combustion chamber um, i'll try my best to go over some of that in the next video when we get into the transfer ports but a lot of that can get confusing and i may just decide to leave it simple and just give a just a simple explanation of things but uh that's kind of the gist of it where you uh, we've got the capability now of taking them a uh, little more uh atomization charge or a little more fuel and air charge into the crankcase and have the ability to rev a little higher the ability to make a little more power um there's a fine line on it all you can go too far um again stick to that less is more approach but anyway guys we're gonna call it quits on this video um it probably a little shorter than the others um you know nothing real fascinating here just a little work with intake a little intake time and change that's a done deal but as always thank you guys for watching and y'all have a great day